Hello everyone, I have just set up a new section on super textures for HDR eyes. These aren't amazing quality because they are taken with the Theta, uh, Ryko Theta S, um, which is a, just takes 8-bit JPEGs really. I think they're 5K pixels across, so it's not too bad for reflections. Um, but the thing is, is I, I take that little camera everywhere so I can just capture things quite easily, and I thought I'd share them on the website. Now, having that limit, 8-bit, uh, is, is not actually too bad um, because it has an HDR mode and compresses a lot more dynamic range within that 8-bit limit. And I just thought I'd show what I do um, in Photoshop to create like a 32-bit, much wider, much higher dynamic range image from them. So I have downloaded this one. Uh, and I put it into Blender as an environment texture, which you can see here in the background. And you can see it's starting to have some reflections. This is just um, a slightly rough, super sp specular surface. It's got some reflections, but it's not really doing a huge amount. So if we open the image in Photoshop, we can see um, I have this uh, eyedropper set to 32-bit mode. We can see that nothing really drops below zero and nothing really goes above one. So what we're going to do is just duplicate this layer. I'm going to add levels on, do a slight gamma tweak as well, just so it kind of focuses more on the highlight area. And then I'm just going to, before that, I'm going to go to 32-bit mode. Don't merge. And I'm just going to add this on top. So now we're way above one. We're at, we're at two. So I'm going to duplicate this a few more times. Maybe something like that. So we're at five now. That's pretty good. So I'm going to go file, save as, uh, save it as an EXR. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to swap out that image. There it is. And you can see that's much more, it has much more sort of reflection, the more pleasing highlights as well. Just to check before. And after. Let's just rotate around, have another look. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick video uh, showing you this new section. Uh, that and all of these textures can be used commercially without any credit. So go to town. Thanks very much.